This is just a quick video on honing a Quincy Model 230 uh, single stage twin cylinder air compressor. This compressor is dated 1968, has a lot of hours on it. But um, bores actually look pretty good after all these years. Um, there's some, uh, some rust pitting and light scale on the cylinders. Um, so I'm going to break the glaze off and uh, hone everything nicely. You see, um, I already did the first cylinder. came out really nice. I'm using a Sun & Model AN 815 heavy duty portable hone. It's got a 2.5 to 20.5 inch capacity. And I'm using a AN 500 280 grit stones here. Um, I had to make an adapter to fit my uh, half inch uh, capacity Jacobs chuck in just a 8 amp uh, Milwaukee drill. Um, Sun gives a pretty specific range of RPM uh, for different alloy um, cylinders. So there's cast iron, there's high silica, aluminum cylinders, all sorts of cylinders that they list in uh, the literature online. This is a cast iron bore and it's three and a half inch so they recommend anywhere from about 300 and 40 to uh, 380 RPM. Since this drill is 0 to 850 RPM, I went ahead and I uh, put this Stuart Warner uh, handheld tachometer into the drill and I hooked up a variac on the floor over here. So I'm able to turn the voltage down and thus change the running speed of the drill. So I have that set at right around 375 RPM. So it's pretty much perfect for uh, you know, honing for this application. I don't have a full uh, setup here, but I have the sun and oil in a miniature, just a oil spray can. Works really well. So I've got one cylinder done. The other one's going to be next. It's always a good idea to have a set of feeler gauges handy and the pistons that you're actually going to be using. So the first piston, you know, I've already checked the clearances out and everything specs up fine. So I got the piston here for second hole, so we'll be checking that along the way. Um, I'm just going to set this up over here so I can get the drill and everything together. There's actually a nice adjustment on this model home. actually right here if you slide the central mandrel out you can uh, adjust it very easily and you just simply a uh, righty tighty lefty loosey um, micrometer adjustment here um, and it just sets all, all of the stones and the, the two wipers out evenly um, I actually because I left the cylinder on the air compressor, you don't want the stones to actually bottom out against the uh, upper or the upper end of the lower part of the crankcase. So I actually just put um, just a shim of wood in the bottom, so that way uh, the hone won't just bottom out and break the uh, the stones. So you can uh, start making your adjustments and going from there. You can start to feel and hear how. Uh, the home's working, and it's always good to use a nice liberal amount of oil here. And it's good to uh, you know, make some assessment on where you're at along the way. You know, I just started here, so it's going to take a minute or two before the surface is actually good enough for um, for use. Um, but right now, you know, you're just going to keep running the home with liberal amounts of oil back and forth. Uh, so you try to maintain about a 45 degree uh, cross hatching. And that's pretty much it. You know, once you could start to hear the drill speed up, you can just reach in there and ever so much tighten the adjustment. 
that way it pushes the stones out a little bit more. Help break the blades better. And this is a nice kind of home. This is a very expensive sun and home. And it, it's actually much better for uh, you know worn cylinders because it's not a spring type, so it's not going to enhance any out of round uh, aspects of the cylinder. This will actually help to correct that. And uh, you know, for for larger cylinders and bores, Sun and makes uh, adapters. So you can actually run two lengths of stones on there, so you get um, a longer continuous surface of uh, stones. Keep the surfaces nice and straight for either boring larger cylinder engines or hydraulic cylinders. Right now, it's, this works really well. You, know, you just gotta make sure you use a lot of oil. We use about a quarter of a gallon to do the first hole which is about four refills on this little uh, this little oil can. I'm not oversizing or anything, I'm just going to uh, clean up any of the irregularities in the cylinder. I can actually uh, I just turn this out so you can see how much we've done so far. Just not so much. get a flashlight in there you actually start to see that we uh, started to break the glaze throughout you know, it'd be faster if I had different grit stones but I only have a 280 grit finishing stone you can see there's still quite a bit of uh, rusting rust and irregularities in the top part of the cylinder where I believe this compressor was sitting full of oil of water for a while so you can see the uh, different side by side I wish this camera picked up light better but Still quite a bit to go here, but uh, along the way you should grab your piston, make sure to uh, fit in the hole and check side-to-side uh, -side clearances with a uh, feeler gauge, you know, whatever snap-on, Mac, whatever you have for feeler gauges, and compare that to what Quincy recommends in this case. They they recommend a six to eight thousandths clearance, and on this side I had uh, three thousandths clear um, feeler gauge on each side of the uh, piston and it was starting to get tight so it sounds like we're still in in spec for this cylinder. On here we only have um, just a two and a half thousandths or so clearance on each side so we're only going to take about one thousandths of an inch off with the hone so that's all we really got to do and then after it took about five or six minutes to do this first hole only because uh, I'm a little paranoid about going going too far and taking off too much. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same basic principle. Just keep going at it. And uh, it's always good practice to, um, <coughs> to actually stop the stone just as it's coming all the way out. So that way you could just adjust the micrometer adjustments on there, loosen it up so that way you don't mar any of the cylinder that you just spent all that time, um, you know, cleaning up. Because if, I, if you... I tried pulling it out as some other folks had recommended and in doing so if the if the actual stones are not locked in position they could they could fly out and don't want to do that with how expensive these stones are. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to just go back to work and keep going. gauge um, how tight this is getting just with this micrometer adjustment there's spring springs on either end of the right now it's just too tight
much better to have a complete setup. And moving it that way is a pretty safe bet on keeping the cylinder in good shape. It's starting to look a hell of a lot better. Take a couple more passes where we get everything nice again. That's pretty much it. You know, it's uh, the same basic process over and over again until uh, your measurements are nice.